In this experiment, we're using quantitative Benedicts to produce a calibration curve and to find the concentration of glucose in three unknown urine samples. Here are the three samples containing two mils of urine. To make my calibration curve, I'm going to use 10 millimoles per decimeter cubed of glucose solution, and I'm going to dilute it into six different dilutions, ranging from zero to 10 millimoles. So here I get organized. Uh, I've got my Benedict's ready, uh, I've got my glucose, and I've got my water. And they're the concentrations I'm going to make. Cube one, I'll have two mils of water and no glucose. Tube two, I'll have 1.6 mils of water and 0.4 of glucose. In tube three, I'll have 1.2 mils of water and 0.8 of glucose, in and so on. I now place my labelled test tubes one to six in a boiling water bath and I'm going to leave them there for at least five minutes. Because of course it's going to take a couple of minutes to bring that liquid in the boiling tubes up to boiling point in the first place before we start to time our four to five minutes. After five minutes in a boiling water bath, I remove the tubes, I allow them to cool, and the fine precipitate that may have formed is then allowed to settle. Initially, I calibrate my colorimeter with pure Benedict solution, but I soon find it doesn't work, and the reason why is because all the solutions that have contained glucose are now paler and therefore have a lower absorbance than the actual Benedict's solution. So this would give us a negative value for absorbance and that can't be read by the colorimeter. So I then adjust my method and I calibrate using distilled water. I quickly see a pattern emerge and realise that these results make sense and calibrating with water is the way to go. I now have the results for my calibration curve, which can be plotted. Remember, when plotting a graph, you need to use at least half of the page of graph paper. Your points are plotted with an X, not a dot. And if we can see that it's a clear linear relationship, we can draw a line of best fit. With a line of best fit, we're trying to go through as many of the crosses as possible. Or what we can do is try to aim to have as many of the crosses on one side of the line on the opposite side of the other. So that our line of best fit runs through the center. I then move on to find the glucose concentration of the urine samples of Tom, Dick and Harry using the same method, measuring, measuring the absorbance and then reading off from the graph. Remembering that this is a common exam question about how you would use a calibration curve to find the concentration of an unknown sample. Of course, we would say find the absorbance, find the value on the y-axis, draw a straight line across to the line of best fit, take the line down to the x-axis, and the intercept will give us our concentration of our unknown.